Section. Introduction. We're going to talk about the importance of understanding how machine learning models make decisions, especially as they're being used in crucial areas like healthcare and law. It's not enough to just get a prediction from a model. We need to know why it made that decision. This is particularly true for large language models, LLMs, which have become increasingly popular with the introduction of more powerful models like GPT-4. Despite their size, these models still lack explainability. As we use these models in more and more situations, it's crucial that we have tools to help us understand them. One such tool is Captum, an open-source library for PyTorch that offers a range of methods for interpreting models, such as integrated gradients, Lime, Deep Lift, Track In, TCAV, and more. In this paper, we'll discuss new features in Captum version 0.7 that make it easier to apply these interpretability methods to large generative language models like GPT-3. One key type of interpretability method is attribution or feature importance methods. These methods give a score to each input feature, showing how much it contributed to the model's final output. To put it simply, if we have a function that takes an input vector with d dimensions or features, an attribution method is a function that gives a score to each feature's contribution. Each score corresponds to a feature's contribution. Many attribution methods also need a baseline or reference input to compare feature importance. We use the notation x underscore s to denote selecting the feature values with indices from the set s and the remaining indices from the baseline. Attribution methods in Captum can be broadly divided into two categories. I. Perturbation-based methods, which estimate attribution scores by repeatedly evaluating a model on altered inputs, and E. Gradient-based methods, which estimate attribution scores using backpropagated gradient information. Perturbation-based methods don't need access to model weights, but gradient-based models do. Let's start with perturbation-based methods. The simplest attribution method is feature ablation, where each feature is replaced with the corresponding element of the baseline feature vector to estimate its importance. This method is easy to understand, but it might not fully capture the effects of feature interactions since features are removed one by one. Another method is Shapley value sampling, which comes from cooperative game theory. In this context, Shapley values assign scores to input features, with the scores representing a feature's contribution to the model output. Shapley values have several theoretical properties, including efficiency, symmetry, and linearity. Calculating this exactly would require an exponential number of evaluations in the number of features, but we can estimate it using a sampling approach. This involves selecting a permutation of the D features and adding the features one by one to the original baseline. The change in output as a result of adding each feature accounts for its contribution, and averaging this over sampled perturbations gives an unbiased estimate of Shapley values. Finally, there's LIME, or locally interpretable model explanations. This method suggests sampling points near the input point X and training an interpretable model, like a linear model, based on the results of the local evaluations. This method proposes redefining the input space to construct interpretable features and then evaluating the original model on a variety of perturbations of the interpretable features. The interpretable model can then be used to explain the model's behavior in the local region surrounding the target input point. For a linear model, the coefficients of this model can be considered as attribution scores for the corresponding feature. Section Summary Model interpretability and explainability are crucial in critical domains like healthcare and law, where it is important to understand why a machine learning model made a particular decision. Despite the increasing popularity of large language models, LLMs, like GPT-4, there is still a lack of explainability. Captum, an open-source model explainability library for PyTorch, introduces new functionalities in version 0.7 to easily apply explainability methods to large generative language models such as GPT-3, including attribution methods like feature ablation, Shapley value sampling, and Lime. Section. Kernel Shap. Let's talk about Kernel Shap. This is a unique version of the Lime framework, which is designed in such a way that it theoretically approximates Shapley values. It does this by setting the sampling approach, interpretable model, and regularization in a specific manner. Next, we have saliency. This is a straightforward gradient-based method that uses the model's gradient at the input point as the corresponding feature attribution. You can think of this method as taking a first-order approximation of the function, where the gradients act as the coefficients of each feature in the model. 
Integrated gradients is another method that estimates attribution by calculating the path integral of model gradients between the baseline point and input point. This method has been proven to have desirable theoretical properties, including sensitivity and implementation invariance. There are also other popular gradient-based attribution methods like deep lift and layerwise relevance propagation, LRP. These methods require a backward pass of the model on the original inputs but modify the backward propagation of specific functions, instead of using their default gradient functions. In the latest version of CAPTAM, we propose new functionalities to apply the attribution methods within CAPTAM to analyze the behaviors of language models. Users can select any tokens or segments from the input prompt as features, for example, palm coast, and use attribution methods to quantify their impacts on the generation targets. We also introduce simple APIs to experiment with perturbation-based attribution methods including feature ablation, LIME, kernel SHAP, and Shapley value sampling. We prioritize user friendliness and flexibility, allowing users to customize the chosen features for attribution, group features as necessary, and define appropriate baselines to ensure perturbed inputs remain within the natural data distribution. Users can define and customize features for attribution in the prompt text. The simplest approach would be defining the features as individual tokens. However, in many cases, it doesn't make sense to perturb individual tokens, since this may no longer form a valid sentence in the natural distribution of potential input sequences. For example, perturbing the token POM in the above sentence would result in a city name that is not in the natural distribution of potential cities in Florida, which may lead to unexpected impacts on the perturbed model output. The API provides flexibility to define units of attribution as custom interpretable features which could be individual words, tokens, phrases, or even full sentences. For example, we select the relevant features to be the name, city, state, occupation, and pronoun in the sentence prompt and desire to determine the relative contribution of these contextual features on the model's predicted sentence completion. The choice of baseline is particularly important for computing attribution for text features, as it serves as the reference value used when perturbing the chosen feature. The perturbation-based feature API allows defining custom baselines corresponding to each input feature. It is recommended to select a baseline which fits the context of the original text and remains within the natural data distribution. Similar to the underlying CAPTAM attribution methods, we support feature masking which enables grouping features together to perturb as a single unit and obtain a combined, single attribution score. This functionality may be utilized for highly correlated features in the text input, where it often makes sense to ablate these features together, rather than independently. For example, the feature pairs, city, state, and name, pronoun, are often highly correlated, and thus it may make sense to group them and consider them as a single feature. Section Summary Kernel SHAP is a specific approach within the LIME framework that approximates Shapley values by setting the sampling approach, interpretable model, and regularization in a specific way. Saliency is a gradient-based method that uses the model's gradient at the input point to determine feature attribution, while integrated gradients estimates attribution by computing the path integral of model gradients between a baseline point and the input point. Other gradient-based methods include deep lift and layerwise relevance propagation, LRP, and CAPTAM version 0.7 introduces new functionalities to apply these attribution methods to analyze the behaviors of language models, LLMs. Perturbation-based methods, such as feature ablation, LIME, kernel SHAP, and Shapley value sampling, are also introduced in CAPTAM version 0.7, allowing users to experiment with these methods by customizing the chosen features for attribution, masking features into groups, and defining appropriate baselines. Users can define and customize features for attribution in the prompt text, and the CAPTAM API provides flexibility to define units of attribution as custom interpretable features, such as individual words, tokens, phrases, or full sentences. The choice of baseline is important for computing attribution for text features, and the CAPTAM API supports providing a single baseline or a distribution of baselines. Additionally, feature masking is supported, enabling the grouping of highly correlated features together for a combined attribution score. Section. Target Selection. We're going to discuss how we select the target function output for any attribution method. Language models usually generate a probability distribution over a range of tokens for each subsequent token. This gives us many options for the right target. If no target is given, the default behavior of the target function is for the attribution method to return attributions related to the most probable decoded token sequence. If a target string is given, 
The target function is the log probability of the output sequence from the language model, given the input prompt. For a sequence with multiple tokens, this is calculated by adding up the log probabilities of each token in the target string. We also support providing a custom function on the output log at distribution, which allows attribution with respect to an alternate quantity such as the entropy of the output token distribution. We also provide a simple API to apply gradient-based methods to language models. This is usually more challenging than for models with dense feature inputs, since embedding lookups in language models are typically non-differentiable functions, and gradient-based attributions need to be obtained with respect to embedding outputs. We allow these attributions to be aggregated across embedding dimensions to obtain per-token attribution scores. We have also open-sourced utilities for easily visualizing the attribution outputs from language models. We show how to use the utilities to visualize the attribution result, and demonstrate the heat map plotted with the prompt along the top, the target string along the left side and feature important scores in each cell. We'll now discuss two applications of the attribution methods described above in different contexts. These applications provide additional transparency as well as contribute to a better understanding of a model's learned associations and robustness. The first application is understanding model associations. This perturbation-based tooling can be particularly useful for improved understanding of learned associations in language models. For example, we can define features including gender, city, state, and occupation. Obtaining attributions on these features against the subsequent target allows us to better understand why the model predicted these personal interests and how each feature correlates with each of these interests. We apply Shapley value sampling to better understand how each of the features contributed to the prediction. We can therefore identify some interesting and even potentially biased associations. The second application is evaluating the effectiveness of few-shot prompts. We utilize our attribution functionality to better understand the impact and contributions of few-shot examples to model predictions. Here we aim to understand the impact of each example prompt on the positive sentiment prediction. We consider each of the provided example prompts as features and we utilize zero-shot prompt as a baseline in the attribution algorithm. Surprisingly, the results suggest that all the provided examples actually reduced confidence in the prediction of positive. There have been numerous prior works that have developed and investigated attribution methods with a variety of properties, but few efforts have been made to develop open-source interpretability tools providing a variety of available methods, particularly for the text domain. Our main contribution in this work has been a focus on perturbation-based methods and providing flexibility on aspects such as feature definition, baseline choice, and masking. We do not necessarily expect that these attribution methods provide a score for each token individually which is typically the case for gradient-based methods. This shift in structure allows us to generalize to a variety of cases and allows the users to define features for attribution as it fits best. Perturbation-based methods generally have an advantage of being justifiable through the model's output on counterfactual perturbed inputs. But perturbing features by removing individual tokens or replacing them with PAD or other baseline tokens may result in inputs outside of the natural data distribution, and thus, model outputs in this region may not be accurate. The tools developed have been designed to make it easier for developers to select features, baselines, and masks which can ensure perturbations remain within the natural data distribution in order to obtain more reliable feature attribution results. Recent advances in data augmentation for natural language processing have led to the development of a number of open-source libraries. Among many functionalities, these libraries provide a rich set of text perturbations. Some libraries have specific focus, e.g. perturbing demographic references. An interesting direction of future work will be the extension of our present API to provide fully automated feature and baseline selections, allowing users to simply provide an input string and automatically identify appropriate text features and corresponding baselines for attribution.